How you doing, boys? Tony's Pizza coming at you. Caillou was the worst. I have heard that that show, Caillou, right? Isn't that, that's how you say it? It teaches kids to just be like degenerate and not listen to their parents. Is that true? I've heard people complain about that shit with their kids. It's not that bad. I, I know nothing about the show. I just heard... I think it was that one. I heard people complain. They're like, yeah, my kid was watching this stuff and he was... He was getting crazy, like, not listening to anything because it's a TV show. <laughs> bad parenting i mean kids a little take a lot of shit away from like cartoons and stuff you know like they're watching a lot of cartoons and what i mean anything like they're they're gonna absorb information right like a kid's like a little kid's like a sponge but like i could definitely see a tv show like a kid watches like another cartoon kid character and wants to be like him from other kids and TV shows. Yeah, but where do the other kids figure shit out, right? Kalu is the embodiment of Kid what 1 has to learn stuff to kid teach kid 2. Mama is making dinner. Spoiled kid. <laughs> I don't know anything about this show. I just I thought it was funny. <laughs> Rocket Power was amazing, dude. I I loved Rocket Power. Wiggity 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 woo. Rocket Power is so good. Uncle Tito, my fucking dude. Big Hawaiian guy. Powerpuff Girls. I didn't really watch Powerpuff Girls except for. Oh, Joe, Joe, Joe. And the mayor's secretary, babe. Johnny Bravo. I like Johnny Bravo, yeah. Johnny Bravo was good. Okay, one of the most goaded cartoons ever, Tom and Jerry. Come on now. I love Tom and Jerry and Ed and Eddie. Samurai Jack was great. What about King of the Hill? Boy, I tell you, H H H H what? There are two of these guys. There are two. How are you not dead, dude? I just shot that guy the f up and he's not dead.
lightsaber. Well, he had a Thor and a Risty, so that's probably why he didn't die. Unless it was a different guy, but... No, oh, this is the guy. No wonder he ate. Probably took so many chest shots. W when he gang swung. for the win. W gang for life. He zeroed out his Thor with a SR2. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hatcher. I got there's more people. Franklin was good as well. He's gonna die. Oh, he's got a fing altered too. How did that nade not get him? I just in one tapped him. Oh my god. <laughs> I just tapped him in the head. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> He's looting him through the f***ing door. Oh, it's bugged. What? Did you see how many times I shot this guy in the head? This guy took like uh, seven headshots. I don't even know. He was just standing there like I was seeing the, the stuff fly off of his helmet.
Oh god, there's some more. There's more people. Yo, maybe I should have brought more ammo, man. kind of slaying wait where's my did I not take a loot what happened it's this bag Where'd that nade blow up? This nade blew up here and didn't get him? The M67? Twitch Prime man, Hog, thanks for the 16 months. Um, can I? This will actually work. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That ain't worth it. We don't need the cat. I think we're good with that. Sixty-five kilograms. Here we go. Oh, I already went up here. Or is someone else did? What a raid. Oh man, what a raid. That's my hit count. 58 hits, 1391 armor damage. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of armor <laughs> damage, dude. Dude, with an SR2 as well, last raid. All these guys with like Ristis and Altins, or Ristis and Thors, and I'm in there with a, <laughs> an SR2. <laughs> Just smacking people. Somebody's dying. He just kissed me.
I just got kissed by a scab. Erica Benito. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. This is so bad. This is bad. I'm gonna die. Ah! What the f man? <laughs> what? I just got shotgun. Buckshot head eyes. Watch. Head jaws. By buckshot. Come on, man. Dude, there was three of them, like, all inside of each other. Open yan. Open yan. I think I can do this, Joe. Too much hops. <laughs> Overshot it by just a little bit. To another 40 new super chat daddy deluxe. <laughs> keep serving them keep oh. supplies hot and fresh out of the oven, my guy. How you doing, boys? Tony's Pizza coming at you. Dude, they heard me shooting the scavs and they probably thought I was in some shit. Five, like the number of times I have thought about going out for milk and never coming back. What the mess? Why are there so many scavs right now? I don't mean to lower anyone's expectations Shut with this, but I have been following Nikitan on some fora back in 2008 when they announced Russia 2028. So far, contract wars, unfinished and dead in the water, hired ops, same, and other games they create suffer the same fate. I hope Arena won't be following that route. Fun fact, all games have the same map, Bay 5, returned each time. So's for waffling people up. Yeah, I've heard that some of the maps are like remakes. There's no way they abandon it though. They've they've got way too much money coming out of it to just dump it. There's no way they'll at least support it until they milk it for all they can. Especially because from when I've talked to them, they should have some BS ammo. They're like legitimately trying to make it an esport. 
Which, if that's where they're trying to go, they have to support the game. CS defend attack bomb site to be a solid FPS eSport. That's what I was, I was literally saying that yesterday. I was like, if they want any chance of Arena being a success, it needs an like attack defend bomb objective game mode. What they have now is cool and will probably be a lot of fun regardless, but you need that style. Like, you need it. It's just... Or something similar to it. I told him... That's what I said. I was like... Because they asked like what we thought of it. I was like... It was a lot of fun. I was like... This game would really be something if it had... A bomb site game on... It, it just needs it. Like, I, they probably don't want to be like, oh, well, look, we're another Counter-Strike clone, yada, yada. But, like, eh, it would be so good. <laughs> it would be so good. Like, there's a reason, there's a reason that all of these, like, the most successful competitive FPS games, they all have that style of game mode. Like, you know, there's a reason. It's not a coincidence. Like, there's a reason. Yeah, like, they don't need to reinvent the wheel with the re... Like, look, they could still do it. Like, they could always add something like that in. It's not... It's not like that's out of the realm of possibility, you know? Like, they could do it. It's just, like, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Like, you have a game that has, like, really cool and unique gun mechanics. Just put it in a good competitive setting and it'll do well. You know, like... We, we know that the formula for this game works in terms of the actual gunplay. Everyone loves it. Just put it in a competitive setting that is tried and true and like it'll it'll f crush. That's not saying I don't think Arena will be good. I think Arena will be good. It's just... I think it could be, it could be way better. It could be huge. Tarkov Battle Royale. You see, I think, I've always thought too, like when they first were talking about Arena, like my mind went in a couple of ways. You rip off Counter-Strike, you have like an economy system, round, like round-based economy, you buy gear in the match type of thing, stuff like that. Like Counter-Strike, but a little bit more detailed on like the in-match like loadouts. Then there was just like the straight Call of Duty ripoff. And then they could have done like a, like instead of a 5v5 type of thing, make it like 10v10, like larger scale objectives. Because there's no game like that really. And I feel like it would work with the theme of this game very well. Like, you couldn't do 10v10 Counter-Strike, but if you had, like, a larger map, like a Tarkov-style map, with, like, capture points or something, and it was 10v10, like, that would be cool. I don't know. We'll see, though. It'll probably, it'll probably be great anyway. I think it'll still be a lot of fun. That's a daddy. That is daddy land, Mark. <laughs>